Quiet about the subject, a survivor of the bombing of Nagasaki has begun talking about his experience. NHK World's Uehara Sota tells us what prompted him to change his mind. At the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum, Kado Takashi describes the chaos of August 9, 1945. <laughs> People's heads were bleeding. An old lady was screaming in excruciating pain. The bomb exploded a few kilometers from him. He was just nine years old. This is where I was when a bright light flashed in the sky. I ducked and hit the ground. Four or five seconds later, I heard the clatter of falling roof tiles. They rattled and rattled and rattled. I thought either a bomb had exploded or a star had fallen from the sky. His father and his 13-year-old brother died. Teruo, his brother, was at school near the hypocenter. His remains were never found. The victims' corpses were cremated in the schoolyard, according to a teacher at Teruo's school. My mother brought back soil from the yard in place of his actual remains. She placed it in a teacup. After the war, many of Kado's acquaintances shares the horrific stories. He felt that his experience paled by comparison. I always thought that my stories were insignificant compared to those told by people who were older. I was only a child at the time. I felt that the others would have more to say. However, someone changed his mind. Hayasaki Inosuke had vivid memories of people begging for water and dying in agony. He convinced Kado to share what he knew too. Hayasaki tapped me on the shoulder and said, you have to let people hear what you went through. Tell it in your way. Thinking it over, I decided to share my experience as best I could. That was about five years ago. Since then, Kado has been giving talks and promoting world peace. Hayasaki passed away this year, and Kado is getting older. He worries that time is running out for first-hand testimony. I'm sure there are many who still have not told what they know. I hope they will speak up and pass along their recollections to future generations. Hearing from them, Kato thinks is the best hope for ensuring that no one ever again has such stories to tell. Uehara Sota, NHK World, Nagasaki.